Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patil. This is the fourth session of the chapter The Geographic Grid System of Earth. In this session, we are going to learn about the lines of longitude. In this session, we are going to try and achieve the following objectives. Develop understanding about the concept of longitudes. Develop understanding about the properties of longitude. Develop awareness about the way longitudes are expressed. Acquire knowledge about the important lines of longitudes. Before we begin our exploration about the lines of longitude, let us look at some of the common misconceptions that exist regarding these lines of longitude. Some of us believe a place can be located on earth if we know either its latitudinal location or its longitudinal location. Some people think that all the longitudes are parallel to each other just like the latitudes. Some people believe there are two different lines of longitude for 180 degree east and 180 degree west. Lines of latitude and lines of longitude form perfect squares. There are only 360 lines of longitudes. Well, all these are misconceptions. During the course of the session, we will understand what the real facts are. Let us begin. If we wish to locate any place, it is not enough to know only the angular distance of the place from equator, which is the latitudinal location of the place. We also must know its longitudinal location. Let's understand this with the help of an example. If you wish to watch a movie in a cinema hall, you generally buy a ticket which reserves a seat for you. Your ticket will have your seat number which will be something like B15. What it means is that your reserved seat is in the row B and it's the 15th seat in the B row. Suppose on a bad day you hand your ticket over to the person at the entrance and he tears your ticket in such a way that half of the ticket number is torn away and only half is remaining. So you only know that your seat is in B row. But which number of seat in B row is unknown. You will be in a soup and your bad day will just become worse. Similarly, if we only know that a place is on 55 degree north, then it can be anywhere on the 55 degree north latitude. There will be hundreds of places on 55 degree north latitude. Therefore, a place cannot be located only on the basis of its latitude because it can be anywhere on that latitude. To have an exact location of any place, we must also know the longitudinal location. Longitude Longitude is also angular distance just like latitude. Still, making longitudes was a much more difficult task than making latitudes. The reason is that equator was an easy reference point for determining the latitude. But it was difficult to identify one as reference for locating longitude. After long attempts on global level, the Royal Observatory at Greenwich 
near London was considered as the reference point. A line was created connecting the poles and passing through the Royal Observatory at Greenwich. This line becomes the reference point for drawing the lines of longitude. So the longitude becomes the angular distance of any place east or west of this prime meridian also known as Greenwich Meridian. Longitudes are imaginary lines that run vertical from North Pole to South Pole. Each longitude is a semicircle. All places with the same longitude fall on a particular line of longitude. As the earth rotates, all these places face the sun at the same time and experience noon at same time. Lines of longitude are also known as meridian as it means the highest position of a sun in the sky that is during the midday. As the earth is a sphere, there are total 360 degrees of longitude. 180 towards the east of the prime meridian and 180 towards the west. A point to be noted here is that 180 degree east and west are the same. The prime meridian and the 180 degree meridian make up a complete circle. This circle divides the earth in two hemispheres. Therefore, it is a great circle. Likewise, there are 179 other great circles formed by the lines of longitude. The prime meridian is at 0 degree longitude. Like latitudes, longitudes are also measured in degrees, minutes and seconds. The value of a meridian is followed by the letter E or W depending on whether it lies in the eastern or the western hemisphere. The longitudes or meridians run from the North Pole to the South Pole, which means that they meet at the poles. This shows that the distance between longitudes is not the same as the latitudes. At the equator, the distance between two longitudes is the same as two latitudes. But this distance starts decreasing as we move towards the poles. The maximum distance between two successive lines of longitude is 111 kilometers, which is at the equator. Characteristics of Meridians The length of all the meridians is the same as all of them are semicircles joining the North Pole and the South Pole. Any two opposite meridians when taken together form a complete circle which is a great circle. The maximum distance between any two successive meridians is at the equator which is about 111 kilometers. The distance between any two meridians decreases as one moves away from the equator towards the poles. All the meridians meet at the poles. East of the meridian up to 180 degrees is the eastern hemisphere whereas west of the prime meridian up to 180 degrees is the western hemisphere. All the meridians cross the parallel at right angle. All the meridians are aligned in the true north-south direction on the earth's surface. This was all for this session. In the next session, we will focus 
on the relationship between lines of longitude and time don't forget to watch thank you